what's there to do in Japan? For culture and tradition, you'll find lots of amazing experiences. Your journey will probably begin in Tokyo, so we'll start here. For a purely urban setting that's distinctly Japan, there's Shibuya's famous and busy intersection that's often touted as the busiest pedestrian crossing in the world. Known as a scramble crossing, some 2,500 people can be found to cross at a time. The nearby Hachiko statue honors a dog who waited daily at the Shibuya train station to greet his owner when he came home from work. But when his owner suddenly and unexpectedly died, the dog showed up each day for years waiting for his owner at the station. While in Tokyo, visit the Meiji Shrine. At the Imperial Palace, you can view the Emperor's home. It's not open for tours, but you can view it at a distance and see a portion of the palace, along with its gates, bridges, and outer moat walls. One of Tokyo's top tourist destinations is the Sensoji Buddhist Temple in the Asakusa section, an older, more traditional part of town that features market-style stores. On the modern side, you'll want to visit a Japanese department or depato store, and the Ginza district is a great place to do this. Don't forget to check out the bottom floor where food is sold. You can find fruit that costs hundreds of dollars. While American culture is probably not what you're looking for when you visit Japan, the Disney parks, Tokyo Disneyland, and Tokyo Disney Sea are well worth visits. For theme park fans. You can watch our separate video on just the Disney parks. About an hour by train from Tokyo, Kamakura is a popular destination that's filled with shrines and temples. Hokokuji Temple is a scenic Buddhist temple that is best known for its small but beautiful bamboo grove. There's an admission charge to explore the grounds, and for an additional fee, you can sit down to enjoy some tea and view the grove from an observation platform. A spectacular must-see is Tsuru Gaoka Hachimangu, the area's most important Shinto shrine which dominates the town. No trip to Kamakura is complete without a visit to the great Buddha statue at Hase. This impressive statue was cast in 1252 and is the second largest Buddha statue in all of Japan.
If you're looking for traditional old world charm, you must see Kyoto. In fact, no trip to Japan is complete without a visit. The Fushimi Inari Shinto Shrine features its stunning 1000 Tori gates. The dense path of the iconic Tori form a virtual tunnel that snakes up a hill and through a forest. Walking through these gates is a truly spectacular experience. The Gion District is known as the Geisha District and features wooden merchant houses. Within easy walking distance is Kiyomizu Dera, one of Japan's most popular Buddhist temples. The temple sits at the top of a hill and extends out over the side, giving you wonderful views of Kyoto. And if you're lucky enough to be there in the fall or spring, you'll be treated to vibrant colors courtesy of the cherry and maple trees below. To get there, you walk through a fun market area. Another famous landmark, the Golden Pavilion, can be found at the Kinkakuji Temple and its gardens. The structure gets its striking color from gold leaf that's been applied to the building. An excellent day trip from Kyoto is Nara, where you can view the biggest Buddha statue in Japan. It's bigger than the one at Kamakura. And the statue is housed in a gigantic wooden structure that's as big as an aircraft hangar. You won't be able to overlook the many deer that are fearless and accustomed to being around people. When in Japan, you'll want to visit a samurai castle. Among the castles that I've visited, Himeji Castle is my favorite. Not only is the preserved building spectacular, it's known as the White Heron Castle. It's one of the few castles in Japan that maintains its surrounding land and structures. When you visit, you approach it just as a soldier or invading army would have. And you can really get a sense of its massive walls and defenses. Climb the castle's top level for a commanding view of the city. Himeji is reachable by train and it resides in the long stretch between Kyoto and Hiroshima. In the southwestern part of Japan, you'll find Hiroshima. Of course, it's best known as the first city that was attacked by the atomic bomb. The city now stands as a testament to the horrific and devastating power of the atomic weapon and remains a memorial that promotes world peace. Here you'll find monuments to the destruction, most notably the atomic bomb dome. This building has been preserved in its destroyed state to stand as a tragic reminder of war. A visit to Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum is a thought-provoking and sobering experience. Nearby and reachable by ferry is Miyajima Island. 
This immensely popular tourist destination features the giant floating torii gate that stands in the water at high tide but can be walked to when the tide is low. Visit Japan and you'll have a memorable and fun experience. It's well worth the trip.